A typical simulation workflow broadly consists of three steps. First, set up the simulation by adding simulation objects such as structures, simulation region, sources, and monitors, and then setting up their properties. Next, run the simulation, and finally, analyze the results. You can do this all manually by clicking the relevant menus and entering the parameter values, or you can make use of scripts to automate these same actions. To add simulation objects, you can use the add commands associated with the specific objects of your interest. For example, add ring for ring structure, add FDTD for FDTD simulation region, add plane for plane wave source, and add power for frequency domain field and power monitor. To set the properties of objects, use the select and set commands to specify the values of various parameters associated with the object. To get these properties, use the get command instead. To run the simulation, you can use the run command. For sweep object, you can use run sweep. After running the simulation, you can use get result, get data, get electric, transmission, etc. to receive various simulation results in various formats. There are also a lot of script commands that do not fall into a specific stage of the workflow. To name a few, there are commands for manipulating variables, operators, functions, and loop and conditional statements. When properly used in conjunction with the previously introduced workflow-related commands, these script commands can help you to create a more complicated simulation setting or workflow, and to do more advanced analysis of your simulation results.